Oh. Okay, this is mine and <coughs> Jade's Hello. attempt at a Skyland survival map. And this is what we've managed. Uh, everything is legitimately made, etc., except for the little uh, enchanting place that we had some fun with before. And we obviously, packed in the enchanting table, but that's just because there's no way to get obsidian or diamonds. And we thought we thought it, you know it added to the the place. So this is our tree farm area. Oddly enough, I've seen someone else use the exact same sort of setup that I came up with, which I was quite proud of. But apparently, you know. It's just average. That's our lake. I right. think, yep, that's an Enderman hanging about. Okay, let's go deal with the Enderman and then continue. Obviously the problem with the Skyblock map is you are only really able to get stone tools. Yeah. And also your food's really limited unless you kill yourself a lot. Which we do. Where's he gone? Oh, he was here. Oh, there he is. As the snowman. Oh. Hooray! Oh. Well, that was easy. No ender pearl. Oh. Anyway, uh, this is the mob farmer. Essentially, it's. Uh. Yep. That was a creeper. In my face. It's a big diamond. At each of the four corners, there's a single block of water, and the current pushes the mobs down the holes and they fall onto this platform. And we collect all of their lovely stuff. Uh, this is... we spent an age getting grass down to here where mobs could spawn, but the code's been changed, so that doesn't work anymore. There's a snowman in there. He's invisible. Somewhere. Um, we also attempted to make a snowman sentry. Which didn't work. Yeah. Obsidian Cobble. mining and sent. Yeah, that's it. Cobblestone thingy. That's pretty much the most important thing because practically everything is made out of cobblestone. Oh god, just spend hours mining there. The original um like sky block was sort of here because this is the um piece of bedrock. So you can see that it's Well the floor of the upper level is the same level that it was when we started. We've got a melon farm of lovely, lovely melons. Um pumpkin farm, which is the most useless thing ever. It really is. And this was a bit larger wheat farm, but... But we wanted reeds for the bookcases that you have to make. Yeah. And this is the lovely enchanting table. Isn't it fantastic? And the little sky brewery. Oh, terrible. and there's some cacti on the top as well. Which we farmed for a bit. The, cac the cactus farm, really, because you get nothing from cactuses, wasn't really very high priority. And this oh, yeah, is I the get... lovely picnic table. I get the die, I guess. Oh, where are you? Down at the table. Ah, yeah. With some some of the mushroom stew you had to make. And that came from downstairs. We used to have a mushroom farm growing in the dark, as well as the, the cacti. The mushroom farm was probably the most pointless thing we ever did. Sorry about that, we had a bit of an interruption in the recording. But, yes, this used to be a mushroom farm, now it's a little bedroom thingy with some pretendy windows, because we can't make glass, because we've only got three little bits of, of sand. Which really sucks. The way that I initially built the two lower levels was a um, bucket of water off the edge and use it as a ladder. You sort of just build down a single column and then build a platform and you can sort of eventually start getting a bit lower um, and that's just sort of how everything eventually stemmed out the uh, the update from 1.8 to 1.9 did make this area a snow biome though so the water kept on freezing we ended up stuck in 
pillars of water going down into infinity. Which wasn't fun, really. Not really. Um, and to be honest, that's pretty much it. There's not really much else. I mean, yeah, there's, there's a lot of cobble in this. There's so much cobble. We spent so much time mining cobble. Uh, I forgot. Got where we are. Yeah, that kind of. I just had a massive coffee machine. Have this. There you go. Hooray. Bit of melon. You picked it up. I mean. Um. So yeah, there's. <coughs> we must have mined like. God, a good few thousand cobble. Yeah. I mean, it has to be. All of the cobble was hand mined. To be perfectly honest, I don't know why we are so crazy to do that, but yeah. I'm quite pleased with this. This was quite successful. Yeah, except it was. for the passive mobs not we spawning. Did, we did most of it in a night as well. Yeah. We did the entire thing over two. The last bit was just waiting for reeds and grass to grow. Which was really dull. We really should have set as a as a rule for these, getting a mob spawner up early. So you can use bone meal, I think it's pretty crucial. Yeah, once we managed to get a steady supply of bones for bone meal, it just trivialized the entire thing. Because when you're waiting for trees um, to get like more tools, when you're waiting for um, wheat or stuff because you're nearly dying due to lack of food, it's, oh, it's terrible. I think, yeah, if you did it on hardcore mode where it deletes the world, you'd probably have to plant some wheat as the first thing you do. Or fish. We figured out we could have fished the whole time. Yeah, you start off with a load of string. Oh, actually, I've just remembered. With regards to the bed, we were trying to spawn sheep to get a bed, which was one of the requirements. Um, and then I realized you could make wool out of four pieces of string. Yeah, I forgot they, they added that. Well, that, that's been in since. Indev. I didn't, really? Yeah, that's been in since Indev, definitely. You've always been able Ah, oh, well, there you go, learn something new every day. Mm. Right, that jump I just tried to make, I've made once and I'm determined to do it before the video's finished. What are you doing? What, what jump? The four block jump from the tree. Yeah! Yeah, we go. So yeah, um, one of the other early problems that we had was, and this is why the entire farm's covered, is we nearly lost a couple of saplings and a bit of farm to the snow. Yeah. It doesn't do cacti, it doesn't mind. It doesn't mind cacti, but especially saplings um, and like wheat, they just didn't work. I had to personally I like had a little go on this, didn't get half as far as this, um, on single player, and I had to start the world twice because of snow. So there we go, this is our pretty successful attempt at a survival map. No. Goodbye.